Well, it's uh, been a while since my last update, and I uh, do apologize for that, but uh, we've been uh, very busy lately. Um, in my latest video, or I should say last video, um, I was uh, in the process of buying a house, the one that's right behind me here, and uh, well, uh, we are now the uh, current owner of uh, said house. Uh, a lot of paperwork, a lot of obstacles, but we finally did it, so uh, that's our house back there, and uh, over here we have our little uh, stable. So uh, my wife is heavily into horses, so I've uh, basically been spending these uh, last couple of months uh, trying to get the house uh, correct and uh, up to code and uh, turning it into something that, you know, uh, we want to live in. Uh, the same goes for the uh, barn. So uh, let, me, uh, let me show you around a little bit, uh, show you... Uh, what's been happening and uh, you know a little bit more about what's going to happen in the future as well. So uh, here we are inside of the stable. Um, we have uh, six, uh, well we we used to have six booths. Uh, my, the wife uh, had me remove one of the walls so I can show you here. Um, let's see, here's uh, one of our horses here. So this is Helmingur. And then behind him over there is uh, Bakari. Those are two Icelandic horses and they're extremely friendly. Uh, we do have uh, one more, uh, a mare, but the wife's taking her up camping. So right where Bakari is standing there used to be a wall right here separating these two uh, booths. Uh, we made it one because uh, we noticed that that guy over there tend to be a little, uh, I would say, not mean, but he would trick the other, so he would like block one of the entryways, so, you know, you couldn't get out. Now if he wants to block someone in, they can just walk out right over there, so. Uh, and also, you know, it's, we call this the ensuite because it's really big. And we got another one over here, and those are connected with a paddock going around so they can uh, go and come as they want so if they want to have uh, some shade they can come in here and relax and uh, if they just want to run outside they can do that then over there in the far distance um, you can see a, uh, a round pen um, that's something that I built uh, took me a couple of uh, uh, days uh, after researching how to do it because I have no clue whatsoever uh, horses is all my wife I have no clue I know gaming stuff so uh, I built that um, and it turned out pretty okay there's still there's still a little bit more work to do on that um, but uh, we have one big pasture out that way and then if we go over here Got a little tack room for all the tools and equipment and so on. And then uh, we have over here is our last stall, which is occupied by a little mare over there. That's a pony. And then on the back you have a much wider pasture uh, that we uh, let them out once in a while uh, to grass. Uh, so that's pretty much it for the the stable area here. So I've been doing a couple of uh, jobs in here. Uh, got our feed room here. So uh, that's what's been going on in here. There's still a, a lot more left to do. Um, you kind of want to maybe expand it a little bit, put some extra booths in there. Um, haven't quite decided, but um, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a project. Then right here you have the patio. So I made a new uh, banister um, all across here. Uh, you can see some of the old railing here and part of the even older one right here. So you just got like the uh, pillars remaining. Um, this 
uh, banister right here, it wasn't up to code. So uh, I had to build one that was uh, taller and uh, would actually be safe. So uh, this you can, you can climb on it pretty much. Uh, and uh, there's still a little left to do, I want to stain it. Uh, finish it up real nice, but before I do, I also want to uh, finish some of these areas right here that's kind of rough. So I just want to finish those, sand them off, make them look nice, and then stain the whole thing. And I actually tested out a stain over here that I'm pretty happy with. So uh, that's going to be the end result on... Uh, those banisters over there as well. Um, but enough about that. Uh, you probably want to see the game room. So uh, let me let me take you over there. It's going to be that way. So here we go. Uh, that's going to be the new entry into the new office slash game room. And I sh told you last time in my previous video I was going to outdoor sink out here so I've done that and you can see that right over there so uh, uh, that's gonna be where I uh, wash consoles and so on uh, in the future so uh, I have it installed but it's not really operational as of yet uh, it's not level on the ground I have to create a little uh, platform for it to stand on but let's uh, go in here so, you'll go in here, and I apologize for the mess, and uh, this is why it hasn't been any updates lately. So, uh, all of my gaming stuff, all of my uh, video games, consoles, uh, everything is still boxed up. Uh, so, I really don't know where anything is except for some of these games right here uh, but the idea is to build an office in here so you can see I've kinda marked a little area here and here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna separate the room I'm gonna build a dividing wall uh, straight down here uh, with a door in it so that when you come in from the outside you just go straight through that door and you'll have my new game room over here there's a attic that I do kinda wanna do something with um, maybe turn it into some storage or uh, a reading nook or something like that but I do have to get a new set of stairs because these are falling apart um, and of course I have to take down the actual garage door uh, I have to insulate everything um, and I have to put power outlets all over uh, the walls I have to uh, also put an actual floor in because you know this is just a concrete slab and uh, in addition to all of that I have to think about air condition because I do live in Florida and it gets super hot here so in fact my time is pretty much running out and I do need to uh, start working on this as soon as possible uh, because the temperatures in the garage is rising and uh, that's not good for the games uh, or any of the hardware so uh, the idea is to uh, turn this left hand side into a mudroom so that you come in here you got your um, washer uh, and uh, dryer over here um, you have an extra fridge um, the water heater all of this stuff is going to be out here um, and then this is just going to be nerdtopia uh, so uh, that's pretty much um, how it's looking right now the um, reason I haven't done anything with this as of yet is, well, we have animals and, uh, you know, personally, um, I feel like the animals have to take priority. Um, they are living beings. They need um, 
pastures, they need safe enclosures, they need food, they need all of these things. So it's taking a little bit longer to make sure that you know they're taken care of and uh, everything's good uh, for them. Um, so in my last video I uh, said that uh, me and a couple of friends were going to create a new channel called Garage Gamers uh, where we're going to be working out of this garage, thus the name. Um, but I've also decided that due to all of my projects on the farm, um, I, uh, I'm going to create uh, a new channel uh, as well. It's going to be a personal channel um, called uh, The Rookie Horse Farmer, where basically um, it's me doing all of these projects, uh, building round pens, I'm going to build a workshop, um, I'm going to, um, you know, do fence work, all of these things that I never ever thought that I would ever do um, and kind of um, document my own um, travel um, or expedition into this unfamiliar territory. Uh, so that's going to be a lot of fun uh, for me at least and hopefully for uh, uh, some of you guys as well. Um, but it, it, it's going to be a, a separate channel because it doesn't have anything to do with, with, uh, with the video games, so, you know, it, it doesn't make any sense to put that all on one. Um, however, when the construction of this uh, area right here, the office, when that begins, that's going to go on my channel. So you'll see how I do the floor, how I do the wall, how I do all the electrical, uh, how I plan for uh, all the features that you know I want in the office uh, and all of these things so that if you have a game room you want to do something to that uh, hopefully there should be some information there that you might find useful and uh, um, you know uh, I apologize that it's taking me uh, a long time to update anything on the uh, YouTube channel it's just life happens, uh, the move happened, and it's just one thing after another. You have to make sure that you know you got everything that you need. So uh, with that I just want to say thank you. I haven't forgotten about any of you. I've just taken a break from YouTube. Um, I am however going to start going through all the comments uh, because um, since I wasn't making any new content and I had to focus on the move, I just kind of silenced that area. Uh, it does not mean that I don't care about you or that I don't care about your comments. Uh, so I'll take some time, I'll go through it, I'll comment, I'll do all of that. And, uh, um, you know, I, I just want to say thank you so much uh, again to everyone who keeps following me, uh, to all the people who uh, have started following me. Uh, even though I haven't created any new content lately. Um, so, yeah, uh, again, just thank you so much. Uh, this is where I'm at right now, and uh, there'll be more in the future. So, thank you.